Okay, well, let's talk about Philippine freedoms. Um, it's going to make you more free than you are currently. Um, in the West, although we are told we're free all the time, um, often we're not. We're boxed in without knowing it. You have your credit cards, you have your mortgage, you have your uh, car loans, you have all this debt that is piled up on you. So a, a bank makes money, corporations make money, and you're just working like a hamster on a wheel. And I've been in there. I remember um, before I went to the Philippines, a bit before then, um, 98% of my income uh, was going on paying bills. Um, and it wasn't like I was poorly paid. I was paid a lot more than everybody else. But the thing is, I got into keeping up with the Joneses. I had a nice car, I had a nice house. Um, I had an expensive partner. <laughs> Um, but the point was, I'd got into these little boxes myself. Going to the Philippines, removed them all. You go into a small flat, you go, okay, we'll start with this because I've got six, six, <coughs> <coughs> apologies. I've got 6,000 pounds in the bank, so don't really want to touch that. So we'll go in the smallest place we can and work our way up. You do it. UK, oh, you've got to change internet. You've got to move your telephone lines. You've got to do this. You've got to do bills, 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 bills for everything. And yes, in the Philippines, you still got to pay for the internet, etc. But it's cheaper. Um, it's just not, it's not as restrictive. Because uh, I remember when I moved the antenna for the internet, we actually just moved it. Um, because it was not a wired system. And they just charged us for coming reinstalling it. They didn't charge us that we'd moved the address and stuff where the UK, they want to charge you for everything. They'll charge you for two fees, one for leaving, one for starting again. Um, this was just a case of, we'll charge you for the cost of putting it over there. That was it. Um, and I have to say that is typical for Philippines. Everything has a way around it. Um, you'll get traffic enforcers that will stop you for something that may be a violation or maybe that they, they want breakfast. But they will turn around and go, well, the fine for that is like 1,500 pesos, but give me 500. Yes, it's a bribe. Um, but at the same time, doesn't matter. You pay them 500 and you're on your way. Or you pay 1,500 and have to go through all the paperwork process, uh, like saying having your vehicle impounded or something like that, which has happened to somebody that I know as well. Um, there is always an option there. UK, they don't have those options. People are, are so tight. People are worried about themselves so much that they've moved away from thinking. Um, I often come against it and get in arguments over things where I'm saying, look, that doesn't make any sense, but this is how we do it. And it's like, I hold my hands up. It's not a society that I want to become part of. I don't want this clinically clean society um, where life is sucked out of you. The Philippines gives you the freedom. Philippines gives you 12 hours of sunlight. Philippines gives you the options to do pretty much what you want most of the time. Um, as long as you're not bothering or hurting anybody else, nobody cares. And it's why I love the Philippines, to be honest, because I like to be able to not wear a motorbike helmet, even though it's law in the Philippines, most of the time outside the cities, nobody cares. I like the ability to decide, you know what? Um, let's go out and have a drink and and you could drive back even after drinking and I'm not talking about drunk I'm talking about like you could have a couple of beers with your friends and go home and I know some people go oh my god that's too much it's like you're forgetting a lot of people this was legal before and it's getting to the point of like zero alcohol in the UK zero alcohol um I think it's just too far because everybody is, is having the common sense removed from them. 
Um, I know when I've had too much. So I know when I shouldn't be driving. The same as my local bar here um, years ago, because I don't, I, I don't drink drive, uh, but um, years ago, he would take the keys off me um, if I had my car with Not because I would drink drive, but simply because once they're removed, he knows that's it. And now that was the responsibility that was between me and the barman. At the same time, was he doing right or wrong? It wasn't a case of I would ever drive home anyway, but it was a case of that's what we do. You know, that is common sense. If you want to drink in the bar, you leave your car keys or don't bring the car at all. But often I'll drop, drop by there on the way home from work. So if I stopped there, he took my keys off me and I'd have to pick the car up in the morning. But the whole point is common sense. It doesn't need to be heavily regulated for everyone. But you're seeing in the West, everything has a regulation. Everybody has something that's boxing them in. The Philippines, it's not there. It's, it's not a case of people even thinking about it. Nobody cares. If you go out and get drunk and come back at two in the morning or something, nobody's bothered. If you, if you play loud music, um at 10 p.m every thursday nobody cares pretty much it's a society that's sort of um i would say borderline wild west but it's simply it just functions it you have the elite families controlling most of the top stuff you know they control all the big malls they control all the um, food production, everything like that, and that ain't going to change. But for everybody else, they just go on about their daily lives and not really bother what anybody else is doing. And those freedoms are important to me. Um, when they started chipping passports, my concern was what else is reading them because they wouldn't tell us. You know, um, are you getting read when you walk in through a um, building with scanned by the doors or anything like that because we don't know um i do know that my passport is linked to my tax because um, they can tell when i coming in and out of the uk purely on my passport being scanned so if that's linked to my tax what else is it linked to uh, you become a robot you're becoming part of a system and for me i'm not like frustrated by it but i just don't like it um, the Philippines, you can be off the radar completely. Um, there's been people there for a decade without even a visa because they simply just disappeared and nobody's bothered whether they go and check in or whatever. Um, in the West, there's an obsession about immigration everywhere. Um, I think the Philippines just relaxes you. You just move away from all this nonsense um, and become and stay a person um, yeah the freedom in the Philippines is something that I hope doesn't change because it's probably one of the few places on the planet that still understands people um, although it's got its issues um, I think it's the way as an expat the freedoms are is a lot better than many other places All right, thanks for watching